Hey guys, welcome to your soulmate reading for uh, Virgo. This is going to be for your uh, June 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys uh, when it comes to your soulmate journey with your soulmate. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about uh, Virgo. How is Virgo's soulmate journey going for Virgo for June 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. Okay, let's see. For Virgo. For Virgo. So Virgo, we have the World card here and also the Eight of Swords, okay? I feel like you're trying to free yourself from something that you feel stuck in, you know? I feel like you're trying to move on and let go, okay? So let's see what else we have here. The Nine of Cups here and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Here's the thing. Someone here is making false promises here that's sort of like keeping you stuck. This person's all talk, no go here, okay? You could be dealing with the person who's a bit of a punk, all right? I feel like for you, I just feel like you'd rather be single, be alone, than actually be played or used by someone, somebody here, okay? It could be a situation that this person is pretending that they're single too when they're with you, all right? This person is pretending they're single. They could be running around telling people that, you know, they're single, they're not with you, they're, that you're their friend, you know. So whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual here that is keeping you stuck and not giving you what you want. And you feel like you're turning your back on this person. You're the Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What else do we have here? Tell me about the world. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here? The world and the Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're disengaging. You're letting this person go. Your journey, when it comes to your soulmate journey, I, I do feel like, you know, you got you guys haven't met your soulmate yet. I do feel like sometimes it takes a couple of tries before you meet someone here. But I just feel like this is not the person, all right? And I feel like you're just kind of like turning your back on the situation and not wasting any more time than you have to waste by being with this individual. Because perhaps, you know, perhaps you do care about this person in a way, but, you know, perhaps you just know that, you know, this person is not for you, but this person could be seeing you as a wish fulfillment. This person could be in love with you, okay? Uh, but right now, I just feel like you're in this energy of disconnecting from this person. Putting yourself first, going off to manifest here. You know, this person could be manifesting you, okay? But I just feel like you're tired of this person here. You know, some of you guys could be in this energy of just feeling tired that you're not meeting your soulmate, okay? Uh, you know, your soulmate comes at the right time in your life. You know, this is something that you can't force. And I feel like a lot of guys do know that, okay? I feel like you know, a lot of guys do know that. We have a ton of cups here. Okay, so, you know, I do feel like there is a situation right now. I just feel like you're leaving the ideal of having a relationship with this person behind because you're just realizing that this person's not for you. But I do feel like this person is trying to, you know, communicate with you. You know, anything, anything that this person has said to you or communicated with you about having commitment and marriage here with you, this person's all talk, like, like I said. All right. What else do we have? It's almost like I feel like you're being like you're with this person, but you're feeling like you're disconnected from this individual. That you're not really deeply connected to this individual. What else do we have here for Virgo? What does this Virgo need to know? Look out for work on for June 2024 when it comes to your soulmate journey. For Virgo. For Virgo. We have the Seven of Wands here and the Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of like I feel like Virgo. You're wondering why you you were even connected to this person to this person because I feel like you and this person don't really have a lot in common, or that you guys have a deep connection here. But whoever this is, I feel like this person is trying very, very, very hard to talk to you here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's in love with you, but you're not in love with this person. Does that make sense? And I feel like you're just realizing that you know this is not your soulmate. Okay, because I, 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 you're just realizing that this is like someone that you don't really deeply connect with. With the seven is here, you know, I feel like you just want to be on your own at this time here and sort of reassess your life, you know, so, sort of do you here. The seven of wands and the knight of cups, cancer, scorpio, pisces, the seven of cups here and the strength card here. It's, I almost feel like you're trying not to laugh because I feel like this person is definitely painting a pretty picture here for you. You know, this person is telling you all these nice things, you know, how they want to be together with, here with you, you know, wanting to get married and stuff like that, you know, wanting to do all these things. But I feel like you might find this funny here, okay? Uh, but because I feel like this person is reaching. Like, I feel like this person is trying very, very, very hard to convince you that you are their soulmate when this person is not interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. And the lovers here. Could it be that Virgo, you're in your head about this and second guessing this here? Because it seems like this person is. Maybe you're trying to push this person away. Maybe you're feeling this intense energy that's unexplainable and you feel like you're trying to like push it away or not acknowledge it because I feel like you have your back turned away from this person. Wow. It seems like this person is your soulmate here, Virgo. The Knight of Swords. And I feel like this person feels this intense energy here towards you. This person, you know, comes from a place of intuition, comes from a place of trusting their gut and their intuition. This person knows that you're the one here. Knight of Pentacles here and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like this person is not, bull like, I feel like this is not BS. I feel like this is truly your soulmate and you feel like this person's in love with you. Now, it could be a situation that you're in love with this person, but I feel like you're trying to resist how you feel towards this individual. Now, you could switch the roles if you want. Uh, perhaps the person that you're dealing with here is resisting how they feel about you or that this person is in denial or that this person is not, not acknowledging how strong of a connection that you guys have with each other here. And I feel like this person is trying to ignore it. This person is trying to pretend like it's not there. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, some here keeps going back and forth. Some here is very much in their head, in their mind about this uh, uh, connection, judgment. With the Moon, we have... You know, what it comes down to, I feel like this person's terrified of being in love. Because I feel like somebody here is scared of getting hurt. Somebody is scared of, you know, you know, unexpected abrupt changes that can hurt them, you know? So I do feel like whoever this is, yeah, I feel like this person's having a hard time accepting this. So, uh, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.